Alright folks, just wanted to do a quick video on um, EDC versus survival versus bug out versus get home bags or kits. And um, what I wanted to talk a little bit is about how these different kits relate to each other. There's a lot of overlap in these different kits or concepts or methodologies, and uh, but there's a lot of things that are different about them as well. So I want to talk a little bit about what EDC is to me, and it really is uh, what you carry all day, every day, and that's no matter what you're doing or no matter where you're going, so if I'm going to the store to buy something, if I'm going to the bank to pay some bills, or if I'm going to the gas station to fill up my car, my EDC are the things that I have on my body. It's not the things that are in my car, it's not the things that are in uh, my trunk, or they're not the things that are by the door of my house or in my office at work. They're the things that are actually on me. Now, you could have an EDC bag, but in reality, I don't believe that people take that bag to the bathroom with them. Or maybe they don't take it into Starbucks when they run in to get a coffee. So I don't really consider that EDC. It's like more of a most-day carry, um, or most-of-the-time carry. Anyhow, um, the idea for me behind an EDC is that it supports your day-to-day -day activities in your life, the things that you're doing every day, the things that you can expect to run into. Um, the thing is, is your EDC is very personal to you uh, and to what you do. And so my EDC might not be good for you, might not be right, and yours might not be right for me. Um, even nothing fancy's EDC might not be right for you. Um, EDCs are typically dependent on things like where you live, local laws, your job, hobbies that you partake in, or just your daily activities, like I mentioned earlier. You know, for example, um, knife and gun laws will impact what your EDC is. A lot of people carry those for defensive options. Uh, there's a lot of laws and legislation uh, specific to your uh, local area that could impact that. Um, the other thing is that maybe you carry a laptop because your job requires it. Maybe you carry a... Uh, tablet or a smart device because you want to communicate with people. Uh, even a raincoat, right? <laughs> if you live in Washington, it's Washington State, maybe you need to carry a raincoat with you, I don't know. Anyhow, my EDC, and I want to talk a little bit about this, it doesn't include things like water purification or cook kits or fire tinder. Um, in my opinion, these are things that belong in your survival kit, your bug out bag, or your get home, cat, your get -home kit. Um, I don't expect that I'm going to need to build a fire every day. And so I don't carry fire tinder. I don't carry uh, fire steels. Maybe I have a lighter on me because I smoke cigars. But uh, in all my years, I've never had to be like, oh shit, I need to quickly build a fire to get my core temperature back up. It just has never happened. That doesn't mean I don't have a survival kit or I don't have an emergency kit in my car that has fire building, cap fire building capabilities. But I don't carry that stuff around with me every day. Um, I don't need to purify water every day or build a, a bushcraft hut. So I don't carry things that support that activity. Um, when I'm at work and I get up and I go to the bathroom or get up and go to the coffee machine or the soda machine, like I don't take the things that I need to build a debris shelter. And as a result, those things don't make it into my EDC. The things that I do carry, like my wallet, my smartphone, and the multi-tool, those do go with me when I go to the soda machine. But when I go to the soda machine, I'm not expecting to get caught in a winter storm and need to build a fire to stay, uh, uh, stay alive. So anyhow, uh, one of the things I mentioned before, you know, as I, I mentioned the video where I watched and the guy carry two stoves with him, two like an Emberlit stove and, you know, and maybe an Esbit stove or something like that. And he, and he said, oh, you do see these things because, uh, you know, I need redundancy and I might have to prepare a meal or cook a meal. You know, that to me that doesn't make sense. That's something that maybe you put into a bug out kit or a get home bag or something like that, but it, it really isn't an EDC item. Uh, and I guess that depends too, what you do every day, but I think that most people are not in a situation where they need to <laughs> maybe maybe cook a meal as part of their everyday life, and if the stove fails, they better have redundant capabilities. It just seems crazy to me. Uh, I think that uh, EDC items, and again, this is to me, are, are, are things like uh, 
you know, cell phones, tablets, wallets, a purse, a pocket knife, flashlights, maybe it's your chapstick, it's your medication, uh, like a pill fob or something like that, maybe it's some band-aids, uh, you know, things, things of those natures, the things that you're going to generally need to make sure that your day goes a little bit smoother, you know, maybe it's your lunchbox or maybe it's an umbrella, for example. You know, I kind of get a little bit of a chuckle when I see guys who EDC 100 feet of paracord or mess kits or fire steels or yurt. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding about the yurt, but, uh, you know, or axes or big choppers. Like, you'll see guys who are like, well, I have my, my sheeple friendly knife, I have my defensive knife, I have my neck knife, I have my fixed blade knife and my chopping knife. And, uh, th- you know, God bless them for being able to carry all that stuff around, but I, I don't think I could do it. And, uh, you know, I guess there's really nothing wrong with carrying stuff like that, but it seems to me like you're carrying more than an EDC. Uh, it seems to me that your EDC is kind of turned into or evolved into like a bushcraft kit or a bug out kit or shit hits the fan kit. And, yeah, it's great to be prepared. And, you know, I was a Boy Scout and always prepared, be prepared was the motto. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff I think you leave in the trunk. I don't think you take it into the office with you. I don't think you take it into the pharmacy when you get a prescription. Um, you know, it doesn't really make sense to me. But uh, maybe it does. Maybe you bug out for a living. Maybe you bushcraft for a living. I don't know. And so, uh, like I said, I do have a survival kit or a get-home bag in my car, but I don't take it into work. I don't take it in the store or restaurant. You know, when I'm in the in the uh, Home Depot, I'm not expecting to have to build a debris shelter or, or to make a fire. Um, I may use my, my phone to look something up, the price of something. I, I may look up... Um, something on my phone if I want to check and see if I can get a better deal or if I can get somebody to help me haul something. Um, but that's because they're part of my EDC and that, and that's why I carry them. So anyhow, I mean, I'm not really even sure that I'm being clear or really stated why you should believe me or my opinion about EDC over uh, YouTubers with more subs or views or any of that kind of stuff. And I know there's plenty of guys out there who advocate you know, you need to carry the five C's of uh, survivability. You need cutting, cordage, containers, combustion. Um, may- and maybe you do. I don't know. I've, you know, I carry, you know, Coke around with me during the day or maybe a bottle of Gatorade or something like that. But I don't carry water purification. Um, you know, and even though some of these guys kind of say, oh, you need it when you're asleep. <laughs> Anyhow, um, this just really kind of seems like what makes sense to me. So I just wanted to throw it out there, maybe get some opinions or some feedback. Um, that's it really. Thanks everybody.